and hello YouTube, this is GS Man, I'm Smart, and I'm going to tell you another brand new video for tutorials with GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at uh, Windows 10, however, this can be basically done on any operating system. I'm not sure if it works on XP, since that's a pretty old system, but I'm pretty sure it works the exact same way on Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8. But we're going to be using Windows 10, steps should be the same though. But today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to find your Wi-Fi password if you don't have your Wi-Fi password, if you don't know your Wi-Fi password, or if you've lost it. Now, obviously, this can only work if you're already connected to the internet. For example, if someone set up the internet for you, if your parents set up the internet for you, and you can basically use the internet on your computer, but say you need the password, you know, for your phone or for your iPad or for your tablet, say you need the password for whatever reason. Uh, so you've lost the password. If you want to find the password, there's actually a very easy way to find it as long as you are connected to the network on your computer. And we're also going to be showing you how to change that password if you don't like that password. And I'll guide you through those steps as well. So first of all, to see the password that you have right now, all you have to do is go to the control panel. So if you're on Windows 10, 10 uh, type in the search bar here, control panel. If not, then uh, you can basically um, go to... Uh, the start menu and control panel should be somewhere there so here's our control panel and you want to go to network and internet and then network and internet we're going to go to network and sharing center in network and sharing center you should see a page that tells you your uh, wi-fi um, network name and then on the right side you'll have any type i mean you'll have uh, access type and you'll have connection now, when you see connection, it'll actually show you a uh, hyperlink you can click. And when you click this link here, it'll open up a brand new window for you. Now, in this new window, it tells you your internet speed and all this other stuff. But the most important part you want to click is wireless properties here. Now, in wireless properties, you have another window pop up. And at the top, you'll have connection and security. You want to head to security. And here, you'll see your password right here. This is the network security key. Now, um, if you want to see the password, you have to click sh uh, show characters. Obviously, I'm not going to show characters while I'm recording. But um, you click this, it'll show you the characters, and you can basically write it down just. So that's how you find your password if you are already connected to your router. If you're not connected to your router, well, then you clearly can't have this option because the password is not saved in your system. However, if you want to change your password, once again, you do need to be connected to the network. Um, if you're not connected to the network, then you won't be able to do this either. So to change your password, we're going to go ahead and, well, actually, we need to go back to control panel again. Because what you're going to need is your IPv4 default gateway address. And that can be found, once again, in the same window that we were just in, in uh, this window right here, after you click the hyperlink. But this time you want to go to details instead of clicking wireless properties you want to click details and when you click details it'll give you a list of um of addresses but the only address you really want to be concerned about is the one that says ipv4 default gateway and the ipv4 default gateway will basically give you the numbers you have to type in in a uh, browser's address bar and that will basically give you the settings to optimize your uh, router and change the password. So we're going to go ahead and go to Google Chrome. My numbers were 10.0.0.1. And we're basically brought here. Now, depending on what router you have, depending on what internet provider you have, it'll bring you to a different page and maybe it'll bring you to the same page that I'm on right now. But it'll ask you for a username and password. Sometimes it won't give you a page at all. It'll just be a pop-up box. And it'll ask you for username and password. Now, if you set up your username and password a certain way, if you've changed it, then obviously you need to put in those respective credentials. If you don't know them, then you may, might want to ask the person that set up, your, uh, set up the account here. However, if you never touched the username or the password, or you don't think anyone's touched it, then the default password and username usually is for username it's admin and for password it's password and it will log you in now uh, for certain 
routers, it's a different username and a different password. I've seen it on my old router, for example, it was admin and the password was nothing. It was a clear entry, so I didn't, put, I didn't need to put a password. So if you don't know what password or what username uh, is for your router, or if you just tried right now admin and password and it didn't work, then I suggest you go to a website, a website called routerpasswords.com. And you, all you have to do is on this website here, just find the uh, brand of your router. And um, if you click any of these, you can click find password. And then it'll tell you right here that the username is admin and admin for this particular brand. If you don't know what brand you have, then well, you're going to have to check the uh, router, find the router in your home, and it should say somewhere on the box what brand it is. Um, sometimes you will need the model number as well. If you can't find the model number, it's, it should also be on the router's box. Uh, worst case scenario, you don't have the router number, but you have the brand, then you just try each of these. I mean, they're very similar. So once you are here, what you want to do is find a tab somewhere. Uh, once again, this page may look completely different for you. However, it usually is organized in a similar fashion like this. But you want to find somewhere where it says either wireless, where there's a wireless tab, a connection tab, maybe a security tab. But for me, there's a connection tab right here. And then you want to click Wi-Fi. Like I said, for you, it should be very similar. Um, it should then give you a list of the Wi-Fi networks that you have. And as you see, here's mine. And you basically click edit here. And then you can change the name of it and you can change the password of it and you can change the uh, security mode. All the uh, settings can be changed here. Uh, once you have that done, make sure that you click uh, save settings because otherwise it won't work. So that's pretty much it. That's how you uh, change the name, password, and how to find your password for your uh, wireless router. Hopefully you found the tutorial helpful. Hopefully you uh, learned something. And uh, we have plenty of other Windows tutorials as well as software tutorials on the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd really appreciate it. And if you have any questions or comments, if you run into any problems, perhaps uh, you're confused, perhaps your website looks completely different from mine, you're completely lost, uh, you can definitely leave a comment below and I will try to help you out and answer your question as soon as I can. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too, really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much, everyone. And this is GS Man Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.